It's time for another instructional video that shows you how to produce power. I know you guys have been wanting this for a little bit. So we're here, we're ready to bring it to you. You wanna know how I gain distance? Well, listen in. This is how you do it. You just do those three things, you're gonna be over 200 like that. All right, guys, so I want you to understand it's not about how quickly you swing it, it's about how much force you put into the golf club. We want to produce more force into the handle. That's how you're going to produce power. You're not going to swing quickly, you're going to put force into the golf club. Biggest misconception about speed is you taking it back and trying to apply a lot of speed at the top. You're going to throw the club out that way. You don't want that because then you got to pull the club this way the complete opposite way for a right-handed golfer. You want to feel like it loads down to a place where then you can pull the club through the impact area. That is how you produce speed, folks. So I'm going to give you a couple tips today on how to produce more force into the club handle. Not how to swing quicker, how to produce more force into the handle to produce faster club head speeds, faster ball speeds, ultimately allowing you to demolish your friends on the golf course. Okay, so most people hit it like 240 yards, 250 yards. I'm hitting it 350 yards. That's over 110 yards farther right now. Now, when I'm long driving, I can hit it close to 400 yards. When I'm at close to 218, 220 ball speed. This is how you can hit it 400 yards, guys. First tip, pull out your driver. When you're practicing, the most important thing you can do, you're gonna to wanna to hit 125 balls. This is gonna teach you how to swing the, uh, with more effort going through the impact area. It's gonna teach you how to swing faster, not quicker, but how, how to swing faster. There's a difference in that and how to produce more force in the handle. So I went through speed training session. I got up to 215 today. I'm prepping for Worlds. I'm going full out, going to close to where I, I feel like I'm gonna pass out. Uh, 120 balls, 150 balls. That is literally step one after you realize the most important thing is swinging the club with more force not trying to swing it quicker. And you're gonna do this for about two to three times a week if you really wanna get faster. And what you're gonna to have to do is learn how to produce more force into the handle. Now, there are times where you're gonna to wanna to take it back more swiftly and you're gonna to wanna to raise, okay? Now this raising, what it allows you to do is unweigh. So you're literally jumping up off the ground and then you're gonna weigh back into the ground on the downstroke. You're not gonna you know, wrist hinge it right back up here. That's not the goal at all. If you do that, you're gonna lose a lot of force and a lot of speed. It's just gonna slow you down. How you load the club is by applying resistance in the opposite direction. So watch what I'm doing. I'm going up, and as the club is going back, right about here, I'm already starting to go the other way. So it may look like I'm doing this and taking it really far back. I'm not doing that. I'm actually taking it back with, with some pretty swift speed and then already applying force the opposite direction to, to weigh myself into the ground to have this club load, set, and then be wrapped around my body and then right about at this point, I start to produce force up and off of the ground. This is how you're gonna produce more force into the club. One, you're gonna unweigh. Two, weighing yourself and turning into your left arm. Three, once you get down to release point, okay, you're gonna to wanna to then feel like you're pushing away from the ground. And that's gonna get the club from this position to be thrown, boom, out. So those are three key important force production principles in the golf swing. You need to produce the most force in the club handle and get that club head to move as fast as possible. And you're gonna push your limits. You're gonna go 120 balls, 150 balls. Use those three, three principles. So use, use the basic premise of 120 to 150 balls three times a week. And then all you have to do is do those three principles where you take it back swiftly, you unweigh, you get up and you load down into the ground as you're starting to turn your left arm or turn your chest into the left arm. That's gonna load everything at the top, that's two. And then the last one is feeling like you're almost pushing back and away from it. That's three. Use those three principles right there to produce more force into the handle to get that club to move faster. It's not about how quickly you can swing it, it's about how much energy you can put in the club at the right moment in time. So I'm gonna do a couple swings for you and I want you all to understand this is all just practice. These are drills. You can work on this anywhere you want, make sure the ceilings are high enough, get a 48 inch driver, okay? You can go to a golf club and ask for a long driver. And, and to be honest, the secret of the PLDA Pros, this is actually a regular flex. It's 240 CPMs, it's super soft. I could snap it if I wanted to. That's so I can get as much whip as possible right through the impact area. So drill one. See, I'm, I'm not quick, but I'm swift. Applying force to the club and then slowing it down. Okay? And that slowing down is a result of me starting to already turn into my left side. Number one, the drill is just do this. I feel like you're just swiftly taking it back harder because your body's going up like that. Number two, I want you to just feel like 
Somebody comes up here, holds the club at the top, and you just turn. So I want you to go on this left side. Okay. All I want you to do is take a hold of the club, and, yeah, and I'm going to be up here, and I'm just going to go. I just want you to turn your body into it. Just rotate left. Feel like you're pressing down with that left foot. And then what I want you to do for the last drill, the third drill, this is probably the most important drill, because it's how you deliver all the energy to the club. You're going to get to here, and you're going to just kind of feel like it's a little loaded. It's just going to load, and you're going to fling it through and jump off the ground. Look at my left foot. Boom, I push. Now, how am I pushing? I'm pushing off the ground this way. That's to get every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. And this left foot, I'm actually not pushing down into the ground. I am pushing a little bit down, but I'm actually pushing at an angle. So I'm pushing away. Boom, loaded. Up and through it. So watch what I do too. I'm, I'm super low to the ground. Just chipping at 350. You just do those three things, you're gonna be over 200 like that. All right, one more, let's go. And be aggressive, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to pull duck hook it or snap, you know, thin it, top it, whatever, sky it. Just be aggressive and swing as fast as you can while implementing these three tips to give you 400 yard drives, baby. J just watch out for any ropes because they can take you down. So another cool thing I'm gonna give you guys, this is my long drive club. So, we have an LA Golf shaft. Thank you, LA Golf. They've been unbelievable. It's a 240 CPM shaft, which means it's a regular flex, pretty much. Maybe almost a ladies' flex. Super soft shaft. We then have a, well, it says five and a half degrees right here. It's actually 4.6 on the sticker that I took off. 4.6 degrees of loft, three grams, three grams, light, you know, it's pretty light. And this is the Cobra LTD XLS. And then I've got a Jumbo Max grip, going back to the, the grip. Uh, it's an XL, it's got my logo on it. But yeah, I mean, this is it. It's got a, the face is getting pretty flat already. <laughs> I run through these things so much, but that's what happens. We want high-end performance. It's just like uh, NASCAR tires. You know, you're not gonna get commercial grade tires. You want the best performing tires for that race car. And that's what we have. So we expect faces to flatten. We expect faces to, to break because we wanna push them to the limit. And also a cool thing too is, uh, you know, got some, you know, using Foresight and then we got T-Claw. The Tornado T, I mean, I've used this for probably almost a thousand balls now. I mean, I don't have to use tees and they don't break. I just use this one and it works every single time. You can see it just come, comes off like that. Boom, right over the top. So this is last year's driver head, long driver head. This thing was baller. Uh, we had to smooth the face out and everything. It was the rad speed and they made a couple of different aerodynamic versions of it. And uh, you may see some interesting things here with the, the new prototype driver here in the future. Uh, that was three and a half degrees there. 200, yeah, so many driver heads. We got like 12 driver heads. And I'm getting probably another 20 next week. Just trying to get the right heads, and if they crack, I'm just gonna keep running through them. That's what Kyle did. Kyle ran through, I think, 50 heads last year. Lastly, guys, I wanted to let you know this is a very dangerous thing. Obviously, I hurt my hand. Be really careful. Listen to your body. Yeah, you wanna hit 120 balls as hard as you can, 150. You still gotta be careful with your body. This is definitely unique. It's not something that uh, everybody should, should continue to do if they're feeling uncomfortable. Make sure your body's ready for it. Go train in the gym. But these tips are factual. There's nothing wrong with these tips. It's just about how you implement them in your own game. Not every single tip is gonna work for you, but use what you can from this video as much as possible to gain the most speed and hit 400 yard drives. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like it, subscribe, comment down below what other things you'd like to see me give, little tips and uh, tricks of the trade that you guys would like to know. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll see you next time.